The legal smackdown that played out for nearly two years between Linda and Hulk Hogan is finally over. They reached a settlement in their bitter divorce battle just two weeks ago, and now Linda is ready to turn the page. She turns 50 later this month. She's dating a much younger man, and she is speaking out for the first time since the divorce in an exclusive interview with our Andrea Canning. Great to have you, Andrea. Good morning, Chris. Lots going on with her. Linda Hogan says, quote, the war is over. She settled with Hulk for an undisclosed amount and says it was her ex who actually reached out and gave into her demands. Linda sat down with us alongside her divorce attorney, Ray Rafool, opening up about everything from Hulk's infamous OJ comments to buying her clothes at Walmart. They were once the first family of wrestling. America even had a front row seat to the good times in their hit reality show. Hogan knows best. But behind the scenes, Linda Hogan's world was crumbling, her divorce from Hulk tearing the family apart. I just couldn't even see a reason to live. I mean, I had no reason to even be here. In a face-off worthy of the WWE, Linda and Hulk Hogan wrestled in court for two long years over their estimated $30 million fortune. Online, Linda took a beating from fans who she says sided with Hulk, calling her everything from a gold digger to low class. Does that hurt you, gold digger? You know, I mean, I was a manicurist when I met my husband. He was a struggling wrestler. We didn't have anything when we started, so I built this empire with him. Together, we built it together. Um, what was the next one? Low class. Maybe the way I dressed, but that would be all. <laughs> you know, I've got blonde hair and I wear the long acrylic nails, but I wouldn't say low class. I would just say maybe a product of the 80s. Linda says getting past the divorce wasn't easy, in part because of her husband's affair with their daughter's best friend. Hulk claims the marriage was already broken at the time of the affair. There were some infidelities. I thought, oh my God, you know, is that my fault? Is he moving on? Am I just a dumb housewife or am I just not, am I too fat? You just start doubting yourself. But Linda says what she actually feared the most was the wrestler's temper. Because you and I have talked about this. During the divorce, she made this 911 call. He's threatened my life before, and I, I don't want him around. I'm shaking and trembling. After the split, Linda's relationship with then 19-year-old Charlie Hill, 30 years her junior, and a schoolmate of her daughter's pushed Hulk over the edge. How afraid for your life were you? Well, I was very afraid. I thought, you know what? Everybody has a snapping point. Hulk told Rolling Stone magazine, that 19-year-old boy sleeping in your bed with your wife, I totally understand O.J. I could have turned everything into a crime scene like O.J., cutting everybody's throat. After reading the article in the, about the O.J. thing, I thought, it's possible. I don't want to be a Nicole uh, Simpson uh, situation. I don't know if he could go there or not. Hulk responded, saying he in no way approves of or justifies the O.J. situation, and he vehemently denies that he stalked Linda. Linda says she found comfort in her May-December romance with Hill. Do you feel that it's an unusual relationship? Totally. <laughs> it's definitely weird. Do you love him? Yeah, I do. And he's young. You know, I know he's young and I'm old. <laughs> Does it bother you at all when it's written in the tabloids, Cougar Queen? No. <laughs> it's kind of the fad now. I'm like, cool. <laughs> I'm finally in style. <laughs> Does having a younger man make you feel sexy? I have to say it does. But the relationship with Charlie Hill wasn't so cool to her 21-year-old daughter, Brooke. You don't know which one to believe, which one to trust. She publicly accused her mother of abusing drugs. Brooke was so far out of touch with what was real. I've told her many times, I'm, Brooke, you know, please just come back. I want to be your mom. I want to be there for you. I want to be a part of your life. I mean, I love you. I raised you. Linda says her bond with son Nick has never been stronger after he went to prison for a reckless driving accident that nearly killed his best friend. They put the handcuffs on him and they took him back and, I mean, it was, it was really hard. And then to not see him for six months. Yeah. And they put him in an adult facility and it was just like um, isolated and it was really hard. When we visited Linda, it was moving day. The house, once full of cameras, is now empty and for sale. So many episodes have been filmed here and stuff. It's just, uh, it's sad to leave, but you know what? We're going to do it again, maybe. You never know. We'll always be parents together and we'll always be a family. 
Linda is now focusing on her charity, Pink Paws for Life, and she says she's in a better place now with her daughter, Brooke. Although Chris Reed reached out for a statement from Brooke, she says that she does not have a relationship with her mother at this time. She does hope that changes in the future. And as for Hulk, he said publicly after the divorce papers were signed that he will always love Linda. Court battle's over, but there's a lot of intrigue there yes. left to come. Andrea, thank mm -hmm. you very much. There's a lot of other great stuff from Andrea's interview, so you can go online to abcnews.com and see more of it there if you'd like.